In this video, we will talk about the number of temperature sensors that an air conditioner can have and the fault codes they can generate. Let's start by saying that the two most common sensors in air conditioning equipment are 1. Ambient temperature sensor. It measures the temperature of the return air to average the temperature of the conditioned space. 2. Evaporator sensor. Well sensor it measures the direct temperature of the evaporator to determine if there is freezing. However, nowadays, additional sensors have been introduced into some equipment to improve control and therefore the performance of the unit, such as Condenser temperature sensor, to measure the temperature of the air passing through the condenser. Temperature sensor at the condenser outlet, to measure the temperature of the liquid refrigerant at the condenser outlet to calculate subcooling. Compressor discharge sensor, to measure the refrigerant temperature, immediately at the compressor discharge. Refrigerant temperature sensor at the compressor suction, it measures the refrigerant temperature to control overheating. Now let's see some fault codes associated with these sensors. 1. Fault codes associated with the ambient temperature sensor are E4, E2, E1. 2. Fault codes associated with the evaporator sensor are E3, E5, E2. 3. Fault codes associated with the condenser temperature sensor are F1, F6. The fault code associated with the temperature sensor at the condenser outlet is F2. 4. Fault codes associated with the compressor discharge sensor are F3, F4. The fault code associated with the refrigerant temperature sensor at the compressor suction is FA. Since the diagnostic procedure for any temperature sensor is practically the same, let's see the following recommendations to address any of the above fault codes. 1. Check the sensor connections. 2. Clean the connections. Confirm the correct sensor position. 4. Measure the electrical resistance of the sensor with a multimeter on the kilohm scale. Disconnect the sensor from the electronic board for this. The measured value should not be zero or infinite. Additionally, the value should decrease when rubbing the sensor with your hand. 5. If you have the equipment manual, verify if the resistance value measured with the multimeter matches the resistance value provided by the manual. 6. Verify the voltage supply to the sensor from the board. Without disconnecting the sensor, use the multimeter on the direct current voltage scale to measure the voltage at the sensor connection, which should be around 2.5 volts.